All right, Michael, we came here today maybe hoping to get some quarterback news, but we actually got some uh, some, some significant news on, on the other side of the ball, and that's with Trey DePriest, one-game suspension. Going to keep him out of the season opener. He'll be back next week, but uh, kind of one of those big names on Alabama's defense that won't be around uh, for, for a big game to start the season. What's going to be the impact? Well, it's interesting because it, I don't know how much we were expecting him to play to begin with, with the knee injury. He hadn't been necessary looking as mobile as maybe he could have been out there in practice most of the spring or most of the August since he, he got hurt like the first weekend of practice. Um, so we've seen a lot of Ruben uh, Foster, Reggie Ragland practicing with the first group, practicing together a lot throughout August. So uh, I think they've been they've got that continuity. They've been doing it. It's not probably not a huge surprise to them. Probably surprised us because we didn't know about it. But uh, I think they've taken steps to be ready for this moment. Yeah, I think in game maybe not a, bit, a huge impact right now, but uh, the, really the depth is that that's right. the biggest issue because this is a position uh, all all throughout camp. If Nick Saban had to pick one position where he was maybe a little bit concerned about it was inside linebacker, uh, and, and even though he might not have played much in this game, uh, you're taking one body away from there and making a guy like Sean Dion Hamilton uh, a true freshman one step closer to getting on the field. So uh, injury wise, if something happens to Reggie Ragland or Foster. A true freshman is going to put in right away. That's major because the middle linebacker position there, there's a lot of their play calling. They're kind of the quarterback of this defense, and for, for someone to be someone that fresh to be out there, it, it would be significant. Another big name at that position is Dylan Lee. Just over the last week, we saw him getting shifted to that position, getting more snaps. He can pretty much play any linebacker spot on the defense. He's another option uh, at inside linebacker going forward. But uh, again, as Saban said, West Virginia's offense kind of caters to nickel and dime defense. So we'll be seeing a lot of those, a lot of Raglan uh, and Foster no matter what. Right. No, I mean, it's a speed, uh, the testing the, the edges. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see just how those guys are able to, to adjust to different formations, different looks. Um, it's, it's not your traditional offense. Well, well that's, uh, that's a little bit of adversity Alabama has to overcome uh, on Saturday, but uh, We'll be there to document what happens and how many points West Virginia is able to score when Alabama is favored by quite a bit.